Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a black gel nail art design. I'm very excited because I just, I love black nails and I think this would be the perfect um, design for New Year nails because they're all nice and neutral colours so it doesn't matter what you're wearing, if you've got any event or anything. Um, but yeah, it's nice, we've got a bit of sparkle in there but I just, I love black. So we're doing one nail, just full plain black. We're going to pop that in the lamp. And then we're going to do another nail full black. This nail isn't actually going to finish full black. It's going to have some sparkles on it as well. But for now, we're just doing a full nail of it um, again. We're going to do that with three nails because we're also going to be using... So this is Blackout from Gel Perfection, which is just uh, plain black. But we are also going to be using Raven, which is a sparkly black. Let me just show it to you because it is beautiful. So it's really, really glittery. It's got holographic glitter in it, so it obviously reflects all different colours. Um, but like I said, we're going to do three full black nails because um, we're going to have one full glittery black of Raven, but I'm just going to put a coat of it over our normal black. So one of them will just have one coat of black on and then a coat of that on top. And then one of them is going to be half and half of both. And the other one is just going to stay plain black. The other two we're going to be painting with Peachy Nude, which I'm sure, as you all know now, is my go-to like nude colour to use like as a, what's it called? Well, as a natural nail sort of colour, um, if I do any natural nail like design sort of thing. Whereas if I was doing this on a client and they were having acrylic, I would just use the acrylic colour itself like just do the base and nude acrylic a nice nude core and then just use that instead you wouldn't need to paint a colour underneath because it would already be a natural tone of colour so I'm just doing that making sure it's nice and even and then once I've done that I'm going to do the same on the other one so we've got three plain black and two nude at the moment so with the three black nails, like I said, we're going to have one full sparkle. So I'm just going to paint a coat of Raven over the top of this layer of black. You can, of course, just do two coats of your glittery black if you prefer. But I just like to do it this way because there's plenty of glitter in this polish anyway to just have one coat. So that's the glittery black one done. That'll just need top coat in. And then we're just going to cure that and then we're going to go in with this one with another coat of blackout because like I said we're going to have one that's just plain black. So that can be this one. So this one once it has got a second coat on will also just need top coat in. There's nothing left to do with that. And then the third black one which should be cured now is going to be... Um, What's it? Half black. And then we're going to do some lines with the silver and white when it comes to that. So don't worry too much about getting this like the perfect line or straight line because you are going to outline it anyway. So it's not too much of a problem. Okay, then once I've done that I'm going to pop that into the lamp as well then I'm just going to do another coat of each of the nude nails off camera and then we can get on with the design on the nude ones okay so we're going in with this nail first and we're going to do our black line so down one side we're just going to do a full black line and then once I've done that I'm then going to fill the side in I'm just creating the line first with my striper brush this is the Erin's favourite brush, as usual, from her collection. But obviously, you can use... That was a bit aggressive, sorry about that. But you can use whichever one you want. And then I'm just filling that in with my brush, just to make it a little bit quicker. I'm ruining my line in the process. <laughs> just going to bring it over a bit. To stop drawing lines on my side because then I end up doing them a bit wonky. Okay, once we've done that, we can then pop that in the lamp for just 10 seconds. I'm just flash curing, also going to get off that little hair, but I'm just going to flash cure this for 10 seconds because we just need it to stay in place. 
so I can add my next colour because we don't want to just keep curing fully because it will just take ages to do each one and the colours are not going to be um, like overlapping anyway so they will be able to cure all at once when I've finished the design. So that's going in for 10 seconds. I'm going to do the same thing on the other nude nail but this time we're doing it on the other side. So we're going down this side this time literally just said I needed to stop doing them on my side but there we go done it again anyway and then I'm just going to fill it in again on this side with my bottle brush make sure it's nice and even There we go, so I'm going to pop that into the lamp. And then, like I said, I'm just flash curing at the moment um, because we're going to fully cure it all at the end. So the next one we're going to go in with is silver. And the silver I am using is from Brill Bird. We're using one of their Glamour Gels and it's Glamour Gel number one. And it's this absolutely beautiful one here. So we're going to just do this this time at the top so it's not down the whole nail. We're just going to apply it... I'm going to do it from this side instead of the bottom. I can't remember what the photo that I saw on Pinterest, like the inspo photo was like, but I'm just going to go with it. It's fine. So I'm just going to apply this at the top, like the cuticle area, obviously, if this was a real nail. And I'm applying it not too thick, but you want a little bit of extra there. So there's enough to stay there, but also enough to cool down as well because we don't want a big block line for this design. We're going to be blending it sort of. So I'm just pulling the bulk of the polish down a little bit. So I'm going to get my Blend It brush from Erin's collection as well, because it's a nice small ombre brush instead of a big wide one. So for a design like this, it is perfect. And we're just going to get the bottom of this silver and just pull it down. I'm going to take it to about halfway down the nail-ish. So we're just going to keep pulling through. There we go. And then once I'm happy with that, I can create my lines properly. And I know how far down I'm going with the blend. So I'm just going to do that either side of it. And then next to it is going to be white. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull down a little bit more just to... Get a little bit more glitter going on. Okay, then once I'm happy, again, I'm going to flash cure for 10 seconds. Do the same on the other one while that's in, just so we can keep the ball rolling. I think I have got a little bit more black on this one. So my silver is going to be a little bit thinner. But it's fine would help if I was in focus. So I'm just applying the silver again where I want it at the top and then getting my ombre brush to pull it down. And then again once I'm happy with it I'm just going to make sure the sides of it are neat me to put my white up to it and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp as well so I'm now just going to clean off my brush and make sure that there's no glitter left in it which is easier said than done with these gels because they have so many flakes in them so I'm just giving it a good clean and then I'm going to go in with white so I'm just getting my white on my palette and then I'm just going to bring it down the side of the silver 
So again, we've only flash cured because they're not actually overlapping. They're just, we're just putting them up to each other. But flash curing will mean that it's nice and like stuck where we put it basically. And they're not going to merge into each other if they touch. And then at the end, once, once we've finished the whole design, we can obviously just pop it in the lamp for a full cure. And then every single layer of all the colours will cure so i'm just making sure there's enough product on there and then we're just going to blend that down again so i'm just going to clean off my ombre brush and then pull it down we're not looking for like a perfect blend it's more of like an abstract effect sort of thing so we're just gonna keep pulling that so we're happy with the effect rid of that hair and then once we're happy just neaten it up and then once we're happy with it we can pop that in the lamp again just going to bring some product down nice and even coverage in the areas that we want more coverage and then I'm going to do the other nail the same but off camera and I'm going to cure this one for 60 seconds now to do it all so while they're in the lamp we're then just going to move on to this one this one's going to be nice and easy we're just going to do a line of white and a line of silver alongside where the two meet so we're going to go down the middle to outline where the black glitter is I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, just so we can definitely see it. And then once I've done that, I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. That is absolutely not straight at all. So once you're happy with it, then you can flash cure it for 10 seconds. That'll do. It's clearly wonky, I'm aware, but it's all good. Who cares? <laughs> so we're just going to pop that in for 10 seconds. This is what those two nails we've just popped in look like. They're very pretty. So we just need to top coat those. So I'll do that off camera. And also the two plain nails, um, these ones, we'll do that as well. And then obviously what we need to do now is this one. So I'm just going to do a line of silver as well so i'm just cleaning the white off my brush going into my silver making sure that it's between every uh bristle of my brush because it just makes it super easier super easier that makes no sense super easy is what i was going to say but easier came out for some reason i'm just doing a line of this next to the white it's quite difficult to get like a really neat line to be honest with these glamour gels because they're just so packed with glitter well they're literally i think they're flakes actually it's not glitter but they're so packed with the little flakes obviously the flakes sort of just do what they want but i'm not too bothered about it being really neat anyway just want a nice line of silver so once i've done that i'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and then I'm going to top coat them all off camera and then we can come back and have a look at them all when they're all done. So here is the finished set. I absolutely love how they turned out. I hope you did too. Let me know in the comments if you like them um, and thank you so much for watching as always. I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye!